My name is Lola Gonzalez. When faced with a challenge, Lola Gonzalez meets it head on. She started her own company, Accurate Background Check, out of her home. A dream come true, especially after being told as a young girl with a learning disability to resign herself to her fate. One of the things that I, I clearly remember was a couple of my teachers telling me, you need to take home ec. You need to learn how to sew and you need to learn how to cook because I was going to be a housewife. Take longtime employee Eric Johnson. When Lola hired him, he'd been unemployed for 11 years. Although autistic, she saw something in him that no one else did. I'm eternally grateful to her. The environment here is of a family. You know, it's not just co-workers. They've been here for such a long time that we all care about Lola and care about what she does. So when a rough economy recently threatened her business, Lola told her employees she had to let someone go, herself. I couldn't believe it, actually. You never hear that. You never hear that the owner is going to pay themselves off, you know, to save somebody else's employment. I told them that that person was me, and they started to laugh. They didn't believe me. And I told them that I knew that we, you know, that they could do this, that pulling together we were going to make this work. And she meant it. So you want to start a business. Lola quickly found a job as a social worker that she credits to her countless hours of volunteering in the community. It is not who you know, it's who knows you. Her new job pays half her former salary. And to save even more money, she moved most of her employees into one office and she sublets the rest of the space. She also took out a federal small business relief ARC loan. That's allowing her to reinvest $2,000 a month back into her business. I still give it leadership and guidance, but they're doing just fine. They've actually taken ownership. Um, they really have. As for when she'll go back to her company full time, Lola's hoping that that will take place sometime in the next year and a half. I'm Erica Washington reporting.